Hello everyone, I am Rajeshwari Kesavan, Assistant Professor in Abhaya College of Optometry. Today in this session we are going to see about a cover test. Cover test is one of the tests important for this to measure the strabismus. Before going to the practical session, um, we have different types of strabismus like um, based on the deviation first we have to know that is uh, ESO deviation. ESO deviation is whenever the eye is moving from the inner side to the center and ESO deviation is when the eye moves from the outside to the center. Most probably we will be seeing only the horizontal deviations, we will, we will rarely see about the vertical deviations where in hyper the eyeball will be moving from the up to the down and in hypo the eyeball will be moving from the down to the center. So now I am going to demonstrate about how to measure the horizontal uh, deviations that is the exo deviation and eso deviation. Under the amount of deviations we can have uh, either phoria or tropia. Phoria means uh, it is a hidden squint where you cannot be able to see the deviation until you do any examination. Wherein in tropia but just by seeing the patient you can identify the patient is having some strabismus. So one important test in to measure these things is cover test. In this we have three parts cover test, cover and uncover test and also we have alternate cover test. First I will start with the cover test where you are going to measure the tropia. In cover test actually we are going to see whether the patient is having a constant tropia or an intermittent tropia. So for that we are going to give a target of distance that is any non accommodative target we have to give. Uh, it can be either 6 by 60 also. I am asking the patient to look at the 660 target and the head should be straight and the eyes should be straight. Please look at 660. I am using an occluder to occlude the patient's one eye. When you are doing cover test, you are going to occlude one eye and you are going to observe the unoccluded eye, that is the fellow eye, and you are going to see whether there is any deviation in the unoccluded eye. Look at the distance target. So I have done with the right eye, there is no deviation. I have to go ahead with the left eye. So by doing so, what I am what doing means when I am covering the right eye, I am seeing whether there is any deviation in the patient's left eye. And when I am covering the left eye, I am seeing whether the patient is having any deviation in the right eye. So this is called the cover test. In this, in, in case if um, there is any deviation from uh, outside to inside or uh, from inside to outside, we will be calling it as exophoria, sorry, exotropia or esotropia. So, one more thing is the patient you have to confirm whether there is a constant tropia or an intermittent tropia. How to differentiate means in case if you are closing and you are observing the deviation, when there is no deviation then the patient is having constant tropia. That means the eyeball will never move whatever you do. But in case if the patient is having intermittent, when you are closing the other eye, automatically the eyeball will take up the fixation. In that condition, the patient is having intermittent tropia. Intermittent tropia is nothing but always the tropia will not be there. At some condition only the tropia will happen. For example, when they are looking at a distance target or when they are looking at the near target and even when they are moving out, when they are traveling, that time only the tropia will happen. That is called the intermittent tropia. Next one is cover and cover test. Here we are going to see about the phoria. Phoria is nothing but the heat and swing where you cannot find out just by seeing the patient. So here how we have to do means when you are closing one eye, you have to observe the same eye when you are removing the occluder. Again I am giving the patient the target distance target. So you want to see the distance target. So I am closing his right eye, sorry left eye and I am removing the occluder from the left eye and I am observing the left eye. And I am closing the right eye and I am removing the occluder and I am looking at the right eye alone. So if there is any deviation from the occluded eye then it is called phoria. It can be either exophoria or esophoria. Then third one is your alternate cover test. In alternate cover test you are going to see both phoria and uh, tropia. But the main thing you are going to observe in this whether there is any alternating phorias or alternating tropias. One important thing to remember in alternating tropias is one eye will be fixating and other eye will be deviating. 
So if you are um, closing the deviating eye, the fixating will go for the uh, deviation. And again, if you close the fixating eye, the deviation will go for the original position. So for example, I consider a um, patient is having left eye phoria. So if I close the right eye, what will happen? There will be a deviation. Again, when I am removing and closing the other eye, what will happen? The deviation will happen in the closed eye. That is called the alternate exophoria or alternate esophoria. In this, you have to clearly mention whether the right eye is fixating or the left eye is fixating. Always, if, for example, if right eye is fixating, when you are interpreting, you have to write R over L. That means our right eye is fixating and L is having the fixation. So that's all about the alternate cover test. So in alternate cover test, you are not going to find out whether any phoria or phobia. You are just going to find whether the other eye is also having a problem or not. And uh, when you are doing practically, just have a 15 counts. This is uh, like a clinical uh, tips for you. You have to do 15 tests. One is first three times for each test. Right eye three times, left eye three times. So I am starting with the cover test and count each test. So I am starting with the right eye. 1, 2 and 3. I am moving on to the left eye. 4, 5, 6. Now I am going to do the cover and cover test. Starting with the right eye, I am going to observe the same right eye. So 7, 8, 9. I am going on to the left eye. 10, 11, 12. And I am doing the alternate cover test. In alternate cover test, there is no right eye or left eye. You are just changing the occluda between both the eyes. So, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So, it's over. Okay. Till now, we are doing the procedure for the distance. Now, we have to continue the same procedure for near by giving a near target. The near target should be one line above everybody's uh, near vision acuity. If the patient is having N6 target, sorry N6 vision, then you have to give the target as NA. And ask the patient to hold the book or uh, target at 40 cm from the eye level. And start doing the cover test. Cover test again, if you are covering the right eye, you have to look for the left eye. And when you are covering the left eye, you have to look for the right eye. And when you are uh, starting the cover and cover test, when you are right eye, uh, closing the right eye, you have to observe the same right eye when the occluder is removed. And uh, by shifting to left eye, you have to cover the left eye. And when you are removing the occluder, you have to observe the deviation. And of course, you have to do for the alternate cover test. After finishing the test, try to um, record all the findings for both distance and ear, and for right eye and left eye also. Thank you. If you like our video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you have any comments regarding our video or if you want any excess videos about any particular topic, you can comment on down. And uh, please press the bell icon without forgetting to get our future videos. Thank you.